uh, this is the these are the main points uh, of the talk. Uh, so I I hope, but it's uh, not uh, absolutely sure that I will be able to to discuss in detail the last point. Uh, concerning the <clears throat> the title of the talk, actually, yeah, it's a little bit uh, announced uh, too generally. I I would hope not, uh, for sure. Uh, uh, arbitrary orbit closures, but uh, mostly for, okay, for orbit closures, uh, for, for Tori, or, Tori orbit closures, okay. Uh, so let me start with, uh, with, some, uh, with some notation, some basic notation. And um, uh, first we denote by, by G, uh, uh, an algebraic, okay, so by G we denote, Ks, where G is an algebraic group defined over a number field. And as usual, S is a finite set of valuations of the number field K containing the Archimedean ones. And uh, also it's standard denote by gamma in arithmetic subletters. Okay, we can so our, the, the main case is like this. Where O uh, is, the, is the ring of integers. And uh, so we have the natural map, the natural projection to the quotient space. And uh, we have a, a subgroup H. Most of the time, as I said, this will be uh, a torus, an algebraic torus, but uh, not all the time, uh, which is acting naturally on G mod gamma. So this is the general setting, okay, acidic setting. But uh, in fact, uh, uh, the most important conjectures about which I'm going to talk concern the, the special case special case when G is simply S O and R and uh, H, uh, sorry, gamma is uh, S O and Z. And uh, for H, for H, I am taking, uh, I to, I'm, I'm taking the stabilizer of a form. So what I mean by a form, so this is a, a real function Okay, where x is uh, is uh, the vectors of variables and uh, a form so f is uh, always a product of uh, m uh, of m complex complex uh, linear forms so li belongs to C, which are linearly independent over C, but as I wrote here, so A belongs to R. And uh, also we have that uh, H is uh, the stabilizer of F in G. Uh, so for convenience, I, uh, I introduced the following uh, the following terminology. So the form F is uh, purely real, effectively imaginary, so, so if uh, O, L, I are real forms, And uh, uh, purely, respectively, uh, every there is no real forms up to multiplication of a, a complex number. So O L I are not real. Okay. So what, uh, of course. Uh, uh, what we have, so if uh, n is, uh, is equal to m, so we get an algebraic torus 
in, uh, in this group, and uh, a maximal algebraic torus. And all algebraic, tor algebraic tori uh, up to conjugation obtained in this way. So it's okay. Uh, so uh, now I'm I'm interesting on the values of uh, such forms at the integer points or. A little bit, uh, okay, I can replace uh, this Zn with, uh, with, with capital Z. Okay, this is almost uh, the same, but a little bit more general. Where Z is simply a gamma invariant, gamma, gamma, gamma invariant subset which different from zero. This is almost, okay. And uh, it's, uh, uh, okay. It's of national interest to try to, to classify this form F, characterize SF in terms of uh, the set at, uh, at the integer points. Okay. And uh, so let me start with, uh, with a conjecture, uh, the following conjecture. Conjecture one, Castle's Leonard Dyer. So the conjecture says that uh, if uh, M is equal to N, uh, greater than or equal to three, and uh, F is purely real. Uh, F uh, does not represent zero non-trivially over Q. Zero non-trivially over Q. And finally, if zero is an isolated point in the set of values, that is, uh, there exists some epsilon, such that minus epsilon, so the intersection with uh, f at z at n is equal to, uh, yes. Okay, so this is discreteness at zero. Then this implies that f is rational. So what I mean by f rational, this means that simply, uh, if it's uh, multiplied by non-zero non constant, we get some polynomial with rational coefficients. Okay, f is rational. Uh, and now this, uh, so this conjecture is uh, is still open, and. Um, uh, it uh, admits the following uh, reformulation in homogeneous dynamical terms. This conjecture one prime. Uh, so, uh, so before, so I I said that if n is equal to m, we get a maximum torus, and let me add that. Uh, uh, so in this case, so s is maximum torus, which is written is almost direct product of a split of a split torus and a compact torus, okay? Uh, so the conjecture one prime concerns the case when H is equal to H di, that is when H is conjugate to the diagonal group is SLN. Uh, so for the diagonal group, Okay, in SLN, okay, HD. So the conjecture said that uh, uh, if we have an orbit which is bounded, then the orbit is closed or compact. Okay. 
So uh, first, let me uh, a small a small remark. So this the the equivalence of these two conjectures is quite easy to to prove. Uh, this is a, a Mahler compactness criteria, and uh, this uh, this relation this restriction is also important. Okay, there are many simple examples. Uh, maybe one or two so example. I take quadratic form like this, okay, where alpha is a badly approximate number and uh, alpha square, okay, is real non-rational number, okay? So in this case, uh, if we take uh, the orthogonal group, okay, we take for H the orthogonal group. So of course, this is uh, this uh, torus, uh, one-dimensional torus, and uh, this orbit with the origin is, uh, is bounded, but not compact, okay? This is the simplest example. So SL, so we have an orbit, so here the group uh, G is SL2, a group of rank one. Uh, the same uh, type of example, it's not difficult to construct also by, geomet by geometrical uh, methods, uh, uh, geodesic uh, laws and so on, in, in, uh, in any groups of rank one. Okay, if you have a group of, so the rank one is, uh, okay, is something, uh, um, something special uh, and, and here I should uh, I should mention the general theorem of, uh, of Ratner maybe everybody knows it that uh, if uh, our group H uh, is not a torus but simply a group which is generated by unipotent elements then the closure of every H orbit is itself an orbit of a subgroup which can, which contains H, H. And uh, the dream was to, uh, to prove something similar in the opposite case. The opposite case in just this, which is, which, which is considered here, when H is a torus, okay? And uh, in view of uh, these many examples, well, there was some, uh, some conjecture, okay? Formulated well, like conjecture, but uh, we see that it's all, it's, it's not already conjecture. Mar Margulis, uh, about 2000, so uh, he, the conjecture said that uh, if we have, so in the general case, even for, for uh, any, okay, at the beginning, uh, any real group, if we have an, an orbit like this, okay, where this time H is uh, is a linear group, okay, uh, 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 or the, say um, real algebraic group, uh, and we consider an orbit uh, without uh, a factor, without a factor in some natural case on which the group H acts as a one-dimensional space a split torus, so without one dimensional, uh, okay, factors on which H acts as One dimensional aspect torus. Okay, so uh, in this case, so uh, the conjecture was saying that uh, uh, it's uh, we have the same, the same, th uh, the same thing as uh, in the in the Ratner case. So this is a homogeneous orbit. So here it's a. Uh, it's a, something quite technically to, to define what does it mean without factor, without action of 
one dimensional at the torus. But it's actually it's not so, so important because I, I give some the simplest example. Uh, so example is uh, we take for G SL two R SL two R and here we take an irreducible lattice so, so SL Z uh, square root of two for example and uh, here we take for H so gamma is uh, this is gamma and we have uh, D1 by D2 D1 and D2 are respectively the diagonal group in, in SL2 and uh, because uh, this lattice is uh, irreducible so this conjecture should be true but uh, 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 it was proved uh, a general result uh, in 2013 uh, concerning the so-called uh, locally divergent orbit and uh, so let me define what is locally divergent orbit locally divergent uh, orbit. Okay, say in this situation, okay, so the locally divergent, so uh, a divergent orbit is when the divergent map is proper and uh, the, the orbit is locally divergent if the restriction of the, uh, the, uh, the orbit map to each of uh, this uh, di is divergent, okay. So we have, uh, so this is divergent orbit, orbit for, for D1, the other divergent for D2, yes, yeah, of course. And uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, the, the result saying that uh, if, we, if we take a locally divergent orbit, which is not closed, okay, so we take, so this is our H, so each H, D, G, uh, not closed. Then uh, its closure is uh, union of, uh, okay, the closure is union of uh, some G I, I between two and four. So in particular, the closure is not, is not a homogeneous orbit. And uh, let me mention that uh, I'll talk, speak about this. Uh, if I'll have the time that uh, this kind of, the, the, the investigation of the locally divergent orbit will have been done in the general case for all, in the SAD case, okay, for all algebraic groups. And, uh, but uh, this, is, this was not the first country example. The first country example was obtained by Francois Mokourant. In uh, 2010. And uh, uh, he find uh, an orbit which contradicts the conjecture three uh, in uh, for, uh, for SLNR when n is greater than or equal to six and uh, our group H is uh, uh, a diagonal group, a sub, uh, subgroup of D, of the diagonal, uh, okay, matrices with uh, dimension, this is not a maximal torus, but dimension of H is, uh, uh, is equal to n minus three. This was the first country example of Francois Malcouran. And uh, a year, a year, a year a, uh, later, Yuri Shapira, so 2011, uh, he proved, uh, he found another country example in, in the case SL3R. And of course, the maximum torus is maximum. So H. Uh, maximum is the group of diagonal matrices. Okay, so 
Uh, make, <clears throat> now, uh, let me uh, uh, so so, uh, uh, so let locate the version. So this means the following. So we we, we take for example, okay, we take uh, for for G, we take SL in uh, A one, etc. SLN, okay, G one, SLN V R. Okay, okay. V one, V two, V V R is uh, is a set of, uh, of evaluations. So this is S L and K S. Okay, and uh, here you have uh, gamma is is S L. Uh, okay, the, the the ring of integers. Okay, this is here, and uh, here you take V uh, one, and so on up to. We are this is diagonal matrices, okay, and uh, so this is uh, this is our H, and uh, you have an orbit like this. And locally divergent means that uh, the restriction, uh, okay, okay, the, the every every di considered as a subgroup of H, yes, is divergent for this order. So this is. Uh, so this is the, the result, and um, actually, uh, so let me mention here that uh, uh, this uh, this phenomenon for 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 divergence of, of orbit for for the diagonal group is 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 uh, specific uh, in, uh, for for. Uh, in, uh, for this kind of subgroups, because we have, uh, in the case of unipotent groups, you have a non-divergence. So if if you take, for example, one-dimensional unipotent groups, and you you take any orbit, this uh, this orbit is never never divergent. And uh, here we have uh, a theorem of Margulis non-divergence orbit of, or recurrence uh, uh, theorem of Margulis, uh, which, uh, which says the following that, uh, okay, if you take uh, any epsilon, so for any epsilon in SLN, okay, you have some, some compact, it depends on epsilon. So you take our, our orbit, okay, and the relative time which uh, this orbit spent in this uh, in this compact okay, epsilon is uh, greater than or equal to one minus epsilon. Okay, so this is not the uh, recurrent theorem of Margulis. And uh, in the case of, uh, of, the, of the diagonal group, so Margulis proved another theorem, which is divergence theorem. So it would describe the divergence the divergent orbit for in the case of SL and R, okay? And uh, uh, so later in, uh, in 2003, uh, we joined work with uh, Parag Weiss. Uh, we, we have, uh, we describe, uh, we, we generalize the result of Margulis uh, uh, in the framework of, 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 uh, of arbitrary algebraic groups, okay? And uh, the acidic uh, uh, case with uh, some applications have been considered by, me, by myself in 2007, so the acidic case. And uh, concerning this acidic case, it uh, implies uh, some uh, theorem uh, somewhat uh, related with uh, with conjecture on okay with, uh, with 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 this conjecture and the theorem it says he's saying the following okay so now uh, 
uh, for a minute, we, we are working to, with, uh, in, in the SOD case. So consider F, okay, a, a form in SOD case. So what, what does it mean? So this means that this is like this. So F is a product of L1 up to Lm, okay? Where Li are linear forms with, uh, uh, with coefficients in Ks, which are linearly independent, okay? And now, okay, this is a theorem. And now suppose that uh, F uh, uh, On is discrete, which is in, in Ks, is discrete. Then this implies that uh, F is rational. So F is rational in the sense that uh, multiplied by some constant, it becomes a, a, a polynomial with coefficients from K. Okay, because here we have, like, oh, sorry. So KSX contains the polynomial with, diagonal is the, the ring of polynomial with coefficients from K. Uh, so, as, a, as an immediate consequence, corollary, we obtain the following. So, uh, now if uh, uh, F uh, is a form, is a purely real, real form, such that F uh, Z Okay, it's, it's like z is equal to zn, is discrete. Then this implies that f is rational with coefficient, f is rational. Okay, so does it work for, in the case when f is not purely real? Of course not, because of a simple example, okay? We take, for example, like something like this, x1 plus alpha 1, x2 square, etc. x uh, s minus 1 square plus alpha s, x2 uh, s, x2 s plus 1, up to xn. Yes, uh, where O alpha i are positive reals and uh, at least one. Uh, Okay, this uh, is not rational. Okay, of course, uh, this uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's trivial to prove that uh, uh, the set of values of this uh, this form, okay, is discrete, but the form is not uh, uh, the form the, the form is not rational. Okay, and uh, but uh, in in first. Uh, uh, let me mention the following reduction theorem. Okay, so theorem two. So if for a real form, okay, any real form, uh, we have, okay, the set of values at the integer points is discrete. Then F is uh, Q equivalent. form with rational coefficients, okay? Uh, in, uh, 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 sorry, it's, it's Q equivalent to, to a form, a form in, uh, in N variables, N variables. Uh, yes. The, 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 no, the problem is N variables. Okay, so let me mention that since the forms are linearly independent, so we have that N is greater than or equal to M. Okay, so we can reduce to the case when N is equal to M. So to prove this theorem, we use uh, Ratner theorem. 
And uh, so for, from, so, uh, from now on, we can assume that n is equal to m. Some, some questions? Or? Sorry? Uh, yes, but this is this is this is general for for uh, it, this this theorem. Okay, this 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 theorem. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's it's for for any form. Uh, no, no, no. It's it's simply the, the only the only assumption that uh, that the set of values is discrete. We we don't have an assumption that representing zero and so. On. Okay, so we have. Uh, okay. And now, uh, so from now on, we can assume uh, from now on, now on, we assume that M is equal to N, thank you this. Uh, and uh, since uh, the case when f does not represent zero is the most important from the point of view of, uh, of uh, Castle's Minotaur Dyer, so we, we assume that uh, uh, f does not represent zero. non trivial over Q, and uh, we assume that this is discrete. Okay. Uh, we see that as that discrete, uh, okay, for in this example, so it's uh, is not imply uh, rationality, okay, but here as uh, if notion it represents zero, but uh, it's it's easy to see that in, if uh, does not represent zero, uh, it's 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 not it, it's not obligatory rational. For example, you take form in two variables, definite form, positive definite form in two variables, and so you get, you get this. Okay. And uh, so so now we. Uh, we want to, uh, to to restrict ourselves to, to this kind of, uh, of forms. First, let me let me give uh, uh, two more examples. I have already given one, so positive definite forms uh, of two variables. The two more examples when these restrictions uh, n is equal to n. F does not re represent zero, zero, and F Z is discrete. Okay. Okay. So, so the first example is uh, very trivial. So we take simply a number field. So you take the norm form of this uh, this number field. Okay. So we take all this. Okay. This is obviously okay, and. Uh, so we have another example. Uh, now we take, we suppose that n is equal to 2r, and we consider some totally real number field. It is totally real of degree r, okay? And uh, so we take uh, the norm form corresponding to f, this is a product of, uh, uh, of R linear forms, real linear forms in uh, R variables. Next, we consider QR up to QR. Uh, we consider R uh, definite quadratic forms with two, two variables. And uh, I, I, I consider the following form. Uh, x, which is equal to q1, x1 vector x1, vector x2, uh, I'll explain what is this, etc. qr, vector x1 again, x2, okay, now what 
in this, so we have x equal x1, xr, xr plus 1 up to xn. So the first uh, vectors uh, form x1. This is what is remaining x2. Okay, so we have such a form, okay, uh, which is constructed uh, starting from some from some uh, uh, superior field. field. Of, co of course, this uh, okay, and, and this this form this form is uh, is called a, a quasi norm form. So a form which is uh, uh, Q equivalent to this form is called a quasi norm form. So F is quasi norm form corresponding. Corresponding to F. And now I can formulate the next uh, result. Uh, so the following conditions are equivalent. We always assume this, okay? Uh, so the first is a, a, real, a real form, arbitrary, okay? Uh, has the, pro the property as Z is discrete. This is our first condition. The second one is F is either a norm or quasi norm form. Third condition is that uh, the stabilizer of F, H, is compact. Okay, from, okay, and uh, Moreover, so we have that uh, F is uh, norm form, is a norm form. This is only if uh, HZ, so, okay, let me write this, HZ, Gz is, okay, uh, H gamma, sorry. Gamma is S, L, and Z. H, uh, oh, uh, HPI, sorry. HPI is, uh, is compact. The orbit is compact. Uh, so, uh, and F is a norm for if and only if uh, this is, uh, this intersection is uh, is the lattice okay Oof. okay it's so compact uh, right so right The, the risky closure, so, so the, the risky closure of uh, this uh, this uh, this intersection is uh, is equal to H, and uh, we have following F is quasi the quasi norm form if it only if uh, the intersection of H D with gamma the risky closure of this is equal to HD. Uh, I recall that uh, HD is uh, uh, the split, the A split part of the torus H. So H is, is a maximal torus. 
which is a normal direct product, product of HD and HC, and a complex, okay? So we have, uh, we have this, uh, uh, this result. And uh, now some corollaries. One. So uh, suppose that uh, our form F, our form F, is not a purely real form. Okay. Always with this uh, condition, m equal to n, f does not represent zero over a, a, s that is discrete. So f uh, is not uh, uh, not totally real. Purely real implies that F is a non form. So, corollary two uh, say, take uh, any orbit okay. uh, where H is a maximal subtorus of G, simply a maximal subtorus, any maximal. So this is compact, is compact if and only if uh, this, uh, the conjugate subgroup, sorry, like this, X, uh, either non-form or a quasi-non-form. So X is a norm or a quasi-non-form. And uh, now, probably three. So I erase. Uh, so uh, let uh, uh, let uh, uh, n is uh, greater than or equal to three. Uh, okay. H is not split, then uh, there exists an orbit which is bounded, but not compact. So let me recall that uh, the equivalent formulation of Castle's Sphinx to die means what? Means that if n is greater than equal to three, if h is equal to hd, okay, then any bounded orbit is compact, okay. And uh, so this corollary gives us some quite general, uh, okay, result showing that uh, this is uh, essential. Okay, so if uh, the group is if H is not split, so it, it fails, which was not quite clear. Because, okay. At the beginning, uh, certain people, including me, were thinking that under some conditions, maybe if uh, 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 HD is of code dimension one, so it should be, it should be okay. Of course, this condition, and greater than or equal to three, exactly as in the formulation of Castle's Castle, through the conjecture, conjecture one prime, is, is essential because if n is equal to two, okay, then, uh, uh, then so we get what? So we get that h is equal to, h is compact, basically. So it, this fails. Uh, no, we have uh, we have this, and uh, now and uh, now I look to to, to sell something about uh, about uh, about this about so point six.
So this, uh, we have uh, theorem one, which says that uh, if uh, the set of values that the, at the integer points is discrete, then F is rational, okay? Now suppose that uh, F is not rational. What we, what we can say about uh, the set of uh, integers? Uh, the set of values at, at the integer points. Okay. Uh, so, conjecture. So we are we are in in the acidic setting. Oh, yes, I, f I forgot to give the following remark. So what is, what is the intersection between these two classes? In what cases, a norm form is a quasi-norm form. Okay, a norm form is also a quasi-norm form if it only if the field K is a complex multiplication field. Okay, complex multiplication field. So this is the, the intersection is quite uh, tiny. Complex multiplication field means that you have a subfield F, a field K prime, okay? So that uh, 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 a group of, uh, of, uh, of, of units uh, of, of the smaller, of the smaller uh, field uh, have finite index in the group of units of of the bigger one. This is one of the definitions. There are many others. So this has quite small intersection between these. Uh, why I should mention this? But because uh, here we we consider S as uh, the same. So we, as an aesthetic, we take F uh, a form coefficients in AS. But here we suppose that a is not a CM field. We have, uh, uh, no, we, we don't have restriction on N and M. So we have uh, uh, M greater than N. No, uh, uh, contrary. Uh, and suppose that uh, cardinality of S is at least three, and uh, F is not rational. Then this should imply that uh, the set of values at the integer points is dense in KS. Why this? Uh, these restrictions, uh, okay, think is there a country example for when S is equal to two, this country example are coming from the country example to conjecture three given uh, in terms of uh, the locally divergent orbits. We have only two components, two, two groups. SL, for example, SL to R multiplied by SL to R, okay, erased. Sorry? What's in our form? Okay. So this is, uh, here is the definition. So we have total, F is a totally real number field. No, no, any, any of dimension R. So N is equal to two R. <laughs> Not of dimension two. <laughs> no, it's uh, very trivial. Okay, any, we take any totally real number field. Okay, this is my R, sorry, not two, and, and so on. So if, if R is equal to one, you, you get uh, binary form, definite binary forms, okay? And, uh, Okay, so in, in some, now, uh, so it, 
consider the uh, suppose that f is uh, locally k decomposable <laughs> what does it mean so first what does it mean that f belongs to here so th this means that f is a collection of f uh, av av belongs to s and every thing AV, every av is uh, is a form Okay, in KV X, okay, the form with uh, coefficients in KV. Uh, so for, like once again, this is a product of linear forms with coefficients from KV. And uh, uh, we say that uh, F is uh, locally, is locally A decomposable. If uh, every F V is a is a product of uh, a forms with coefficients from K, okay, this is L U one, etc. L V uh, N, where every L V I with coefficients in K. So we. We consider such a form, which is uh, so locally it's uh, over k, but uh, globally it's not. So this means that uh, this O, this F, V are not proportional to one fixed form. Okay, and uh, and now in this uh, for such a, uh, for such form, so we have. Uh, Theorem. The conjecture is true for such forms. For such for such forms, and uh, uh, why? So what? Uh, what is the? So this is this is deduced for, from from the following fact. So this is deduced that that uh, so if in the general setting we have like before G, GKS theorem. Okay, we have gamma. We have uh, okay. A maximal torus here, which is a product of maximal maximal torus in every GKV. So H is the product H V and belongs to S. And uh, now we take an orbit which is uh, uh, locally divergent. And we suppose that this orbit is not closed. Then there are two points, two, two possibilities. If uh, S, uh, the linearity of S is equal to two, then uh, uh, the closure, then the closure is uh, a union of uh, finitely many okay finitely many orbits okay uh, okay i greater than equal to two and what is important that all these orbits okay i'm with no time all, all these orbits are stratified in some Natural sense by the parabolic subgroups of, uh, of our group G. This is the case when S cardinality is equal to two. On the other hand, if the cardinality is uh, greater than two, then we have that uh, the closure of this orbit is uh, is almost uh, homogeneous in the general case. 
So what, what does it mean almost homogeneous? So this means that we have uh, two, uh, we have some orbit which is closed, L E G. So it is squeezed between two closed orbits, L2. So these two orbits are, are closed. And uh, so L1 and L2 are reductive groups containing the, the, the maximum torus containing N. And uh, the semi-simple rank of L1 and L2 are the same. So the semi-simple rank of L1 is equal to semi-simple rank of L2. So this gives that in the particular case when G is equal to SLN, so we have sim simply uh, homogeneous. We have sim simply that uh, these two orbits, L1 and L2 coincide. So if G is equal to SLN, so we get that, uh, that the closure is equal to is homogeneous. So it, okay. And uh, this is the, just the result which implies, uh, which implies uh, this, uh, okay, that's uh, this, 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 this theorem that the conjecture is okay for uh, local decay decomposable form. Okay, thank you. How many orbits do you get in the S equal two case? SL2. Case A. SL1. No, the first case. Get a union, but uh, is it always? Uh, ah, here. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, there are more than two. So the so let me. Uh, so the result is the following. So uh, we have this orbit and uh, we have denoted by P, there is some, some uh, uh, subset of the set of all parabolic subgroups, okay? Uh, algebraic group. Okay, the cardinality is, uh, okay, it's greater than at least, at least two. And uh, with the following property, so for, every uh, element here for every parabolic here, uh, we associate an orbit, okay, an orbit uh, which uh, belongs to, to this closure. Okay. And uh, with the following properties, Uh, so, uh, uh, if, um, so the first uh, is that, uh, as I said, is the union of all these orbits. Let me belong to this. And not only this, if we take uh, any orbit from, from this union, okay, we take okay, some element, element here, we take its, uh, its closure, and so from its side, it's uh, uh, a union of the orbit uh, P prime, okay, where P prime, okay, which belongs to this, contains P. So we have not only result about the closure of, of this bigger orbit, but we take, this is really stratification, we take any element from here, we take its closure, and uh, we get what the orbits, what are the orbits inside. These are exactly the orbit which corresponds to uh, yeah, it's, it's P, P prime. These are the orbit which corresponds to 
the small parabolic subgroups, okay? Uh, so in particular, so this is the set of parabolic subgroups is finite. Here in this set, we have some parabolic, which is minimal, there is not other. So the orbit which corresponds to, to, the, to the minimal elements in this set are exactly the close orbit, exactly the close orbit, okay, in this, in this closure, okay? So we can say that this is equal to this, okay, if it only if. Uh, so this uh, mi is minimal in, in this set, okay? And uh, so in particular, so it, it, in each case, for, for example, in, uh, we take uh, SL2, SL2 times SL2, we, the parabolic subgroup, we, we have uh, four possibilities. So it, uh, so the uh, so this is the number is under, under, the minimum is two, the maximum is, is four. Okay, something like this, and this is the exact answer. And so in general, you, but uh, everything is uh, uh, is given in, in a very explicit way. So I have not to give more details. Any further questions? Okay, so let's thank you. Thank you.